Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Bible with Todd Daily Zabur. Last time, Bible chapter Z, we're at chapter 19 of Leviticus. Various laws. But today, we were looking at chapter 20 of Leviticus. Punishment for sin. And also... R.I.P. the Queen, but also respect to the victims, or R.I.P. the victims of 9 11 attack, because today is the, 9, uh, the 11th of September, which is 9 11 in American dates. But anyway, today, punishment for sin. Do not sin, but you will sin, and you'll be punished or forgiven if you believe in Jesus Christ. The Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, Any Israelites, or any foreigner residing in Israel who sacrifices any of his children to Molech, also known as Molester, is to be put to death. The members of the community are to stone him. I myself will set my face against him and will cut him off from his people for by sacrificing his children to Molech. He has defiled my sanctuary and profaned my holy name. If the members of the community close their eyes when the man sacrifices one of his children to Molech, and if they fail to put him to death, I myself will set my face against him and his family and will cut them off from their people together with all who follow him and prostitute himself to Molech. I will set my face against anyone who turns to mediums and spirits tis to prostitution, prostitute themselves by following them. And I will cut them off from their people. Consecrate yourselves and, and be holy, because I am the Lord your God. Keep my decrees and follow them. I am the Lord who makes you holy. Anyone who curses their father or mother is to put to death, because they have cursed their father and mother, their blood will be on their own head. If a man commits adultery with another man's wife, with the wife of his neighbour, both the adulterer and the adulteress are to be put to death. If a man has sexual relations with his father's wife, he has dishonoured his father. Both the man and the woman are to be put to death. Their blood will be beyond their own heads. If a man has sexual relations with his daughter-in-law, both of them are to be put to death. What they have done is a perversion. And I paid a fee later. Their blood we put on their own heads. If a man has sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman, both. Wait a second. What oh, they've done is detestable. They are to be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. If a man marries both a woman and her mother, it is wicked. Both he. And they must be burned in the fire. Wait a second, I haven't read this one already. So that no wickedness will be among you. If a man has sexual relations with an animal, he is to be put to death, and he must kill the animal. If a man approaches an animal to have sexual relations with it, kill both the woman and the animal. They are to be put to death. Their blood will be in their own heads. I also know a man and woman. If a man marries his sister, the daughter of either his father or his mother. And they have sexual relations. It is a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. They are to be put publicly removed from their people. He has dishonoured his sister and will be held responsible. If a man has sexual relations with a woman during her month period, he has exposed the source of her flow and she has uncovered it. Both of them are to be put off from their people. Do not have sexual relations with the sister of either you, your mother, or your father, for that would dishonour a close relative. Both of you will be held responsible. If a man has sexual relations with an aunt, he has dishonoured his uncle. They will be held responsible. They will die childless. If a man marries his brother's wife, it is an act of impurity. He has dishonoured his brother. They will be childless. Keep all my decrees and laws and follow them, so that the land where I am bringing you to live May not vomit, you're out. You must not live according to the cost of the nations I am going to drive up before you, because they did all these things I bought them. 
But I said to you, you will possess the land. I will give it to you as an inheritance, a land of flowing with milk and honey. I, the Lord your God, will set you apart from the nations. You must therefore make a distinction between clean and unclean animals. And between clean and unclean birds, do not defile yourselves by any animal, bird, or anything moves on the ground. Those that set apart you unclean for you, you are holy because I please turn. The Lord am holy, and I have set you apart from nations to be my own. A man or a woman who is a medium or spirit among you must be put to death. You are to stone them, their blood will be on their own heads. Thank you all for listening. I am. And this is, my friends, been a pleasure. And my friend, this is.